Now to COVID-19, where Colorado hospitalizations are at the highest level since December. This weekend, more than 90 people were admitted to hospitals across the state with COVID. We're now at nearly 800 people in the hospital. Most of them are confirmed cases. Rick Salinger joins us live tonight at St. Anthony Hospital in Lakewood. And Rick, more ICUs are starting to be really concerned. Yes, Karen, but there's one person they don't have to include in the count here anymore. A man from Golden who wasn't expected to make it finally got to go home. I feel very lucky to be alive. I feel like I've got a second chance at life. Bill Phillips didn't think he needed to get vaccinated. A fitness coach, he had COVID once and the antibodies that come with it. Then it hit him again. I was there for 60 days. I was on a ventilator for 47 days. I was in a coma for three weeks. Hospitalizations were dropping. Now they're climbing again. More than 800 in March of last year, then way up to nearly 2,000 people in December. It had gone down to about 300 last month, but now nearly 800 people are hospitalized. If you haven't been vaccinated, Dr. Michael Roshan of Centura Health warns, assume you are going to get the virus. You get to choose. Do you want to get the virus after you've been vaccinated or, or before? And we know that the vaccination uh, first is the, is the right way to go. He points out more than 90% of those hospitalized with COVID are unvaccinated, like Bill Phillips was. He was more than likely going to die. And I believe it was truly a miracle that he survived this. Get vaccinated. Stop screwing around. Don't, don't risk what this could do to you. It could cost you your life. He lost, he lost 70 pounds while he was hospitalized here. And he says he is going to get vaccinated now just as soon as the doctors will let him. Live in Lakewood, Rick Salinger covering Colorado First. What a story.